Good morning. Today we are going to see the sulfur system or one component system or eutectic system. It is a one component and four phase system. The four phases are two solid polymorphic forms. First, rhombic sulfur. The next, monoclinic sulfur. The third is called as the sulfur liquid and the fourth is the sulfur vapor. All the four phase can be represented by the only chemical individual sulfur itself and hence it is a one component system. Now we see the sulfur diagram. In the sulfur diagram we see the X and the y axis. The x and the y axis represents us the temperature and the pressure. Now in sulfur system there are four areas. The very first as you can see I have, I have written in the corner like first is called as A, B, E, F. The second is called as B, C, E. The third is called as D, C, E, F. And the fourth is called as A, B, C, D. Now in the sulfur system, there are four area of solid rhombic, solid monoclinic, liquid and the vapor. Now here you can see the first is A, B, E, F. It is a solid rhombic. The second is B, C, E. It is solid monoclinic. D, C, E, F represents the liquid and the last A, B, C, D is of vapor phase. So each area has only one phase. So, F is equals to C minus P plus 2, where we see in solid rhombic or liquid sulfur or even the solid monoclinic or vapor sulfur. If we consider any one, we can write here the component is 1, whereas the phase is also 1 plus 2. Hence, the degree of freedom is 2. Hence, we say it is a bivariant system. Means we have to mention the temperature as well as the pressure. The second, we see here the curves or the boundary. So in the sulfur system, there are six boundaries. The very first is AB, which is called as the vapor pressure curve of rhombic sulfur. So we see the sulfur rhombic and the sulfur vapor, they are in equilibrium with each other. The second curve is called as the BC curve. Now this BC curve, it represents what? It represents us the vapor pressure curve of SM that is sulfur monoclinic. Now this sulfur monoclinic is in equilibrium with the sulfur vapor. The third is called as the vapor pressure curve of sulfur liquid. Here you can see which is su sulfur liquid which is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. The next is called as BE, that is called as the transition curve, where sulfur rhombic is in equilibrium with sulfur monoclinic. CE is the fusion curve of solid monoclinic, that is the sulfur monoclinic. We see sulfur monoclinic is in equilibrium with sulfur liquid. EF, it is a fusion curve of solid rhombic. Here we see the solid rhombic is in equilibrium with sulfur liquid. So, we say there are curves which are six like AB, BC, CD, BE, CE and EF where degree of freedom is equals to C minus P plus 2. Here the component is 1. Even if you consider like this AB curve, sulfur rhombic, equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So, both of them that is sulfur rhombic and sulfur vapor in this the component is one so c is one phases 
Sulfur rhombic equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So the phases are 2 plus 2. So the degree of freedom here is 1. So we have to mention here either the temperature or the pressure. And the 1 will automatically get fixed. Now the triple point in the sulfur system. There are three triple points. The first is called as B. The second is called as E. And the third is called as E. So there are three triple points. B, C, E. Now the very first point is B where we say the temperature is 95.6 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 0 0.006 mm. Here you can see the pressure is 0 0.006 mm and the temperature is 95.6 degrees Celsius. At this point, point B, we see that sulfur rhombic is in equilibrium with sulfur monoclinic which is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So, all these three phases can be seen only at a temperature 95.6 degree Celsius with the pressure 0.006 mm. The second point is the C, where we see the pressure is 0.04 mm and the temperature is 120 degree Celsius. Here you can see the temperature is 120 degree Celsius and the pressure is 0.04 mm where sulfur monoclinic at this point sulfur monoclinic is in equilibrium with sulfur liquid which is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So these three phases can be seen together only at a temperature 120 degrees Celsius and the pressure 0.04 mm. The third point is called as the C where the temperature is 165 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1288 atmosphere. At this E point, we see sulfur rhombic equilibrium with sulfur monoclinic, which is in equilibrium with sulfur liquid. So, if we calculate the degree of freedom, F is equals to C minus P plus 2, the component in every C, either in point B, C, or E. We see that in this sulfur rhombic equilibrium in with sulfur monoclinic, which is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So here we can see only the sulfur means the component is one. Even in C or E, you can see the component is one. Whereas the phases here are three plus two. So the degree of freedom is zero. Means we have to mention the temperature as well as the pressure. If any one of these is disturbed, one phase will disappear. Also, we can see at one atmospheric pressure and 444.6 degrees Celsius, what happens? The sulfur starts boiling, which is a vapor pressure curve. Now, here at point G, we see the dashed line. Now, what this dashed line represents? So, AB is a vapor pressure curve of SR that is sol solid rhombic. So this dash line it represent that it is a continuation of the curve and sulfur rhombic is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. Same for the CG we see again here the continuation line. So sulfur monoclinic here is again is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. The third is GE where we can see the sulfur monoclinic which is in equilibrium with the sulfur liquid. So, this dash line is nothing but the metastable equilibrium. So, this point G where we can see the temperature is 144 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, we see that sulfur rhombic is in equilibrium with sulfur liquid which is in equilibrium with sulfur vapor. So, these three solid rhombic or the sulfur rhombic equilibrium with the liquid sulfur and vapor sulfur at a temperature of 144 degrees Celsius. So, in sulfur system we have seen uh, four areas, six curves and three triple point. So, this was all about, uh, about of the sulfur system. Thank you.